this piece was was written uh, a little bit to to save a friendship or as a reconciliation between two friends, uh, Brahms and the violinist Joachim. Um, Joachim was going through a divorce, and Brahms had apparently sided with Joachim's wife rather than his friend, and so it it put a wedge in their friendship and. Um, so the story is that Brahms wrote this piece as a peace offering uh, to Joachim. And so you have these two instruments, and uh, it's actually an incredibly symphonic work. Um, you know, the orchestra has a very difficult part as well. It's very rich in the orchestra part as well. Um, and Brahms uses the two instruments, the violin and the cello, almost as a single instrument. What, what did he call it? What was the term? Um, to create one one giant violin yeah. basically with the range of the the low register of the cello going all the way through to the top register of the violin and that creates that creates that that um, sensation of one huge string instrument and I think it, it very much comes alive um, both these elements this the sound of this giant instrument especially in the in the in the slow movement where we mostly are playing in unison the same. The whole sound is, is, is kind of special and, and, and big. And also this, this element of reconciliation is very much coming through there, I think. Maybe it almost took him the first movement to reach that, that, that complete harmony. There really the, the sounds of, of the violin and the cello are, are, are basically melting, hopefully. Um, that's, that's a very special thing about this piece. Yeah, there's an element in the first movement which is really like like a conversation. You know, you start with the orchestra and then you have a big solo cadenza from the cello. Uh, and then I, I have a brief uh, violin cadenza and then the piece uh, keeps going. But the whole movement feels like a, like a long, serious conversation in a way. Mm -hmm. 